Hey, my name is Mark Hunter, the Sales Hunter, and I want to talk to you about how you can increase your sales performance very significantly by just practicing time management. Don't practice it, actually do it. I'm going to share with you 10 strategies as to how you can get control of your time. Number one, plan your day. Tomorrow begins today. I can't stress this enough. It is absolutely critical. You always plan tomorrow, today. If you wake up in the morning and you haven't planned the day out specifically exactly what you're going to do, guess what? You're going to waste time. Number two builds off of number one. That is build your plan and work your work your plan. What does this mean? It means you've taken the time to build your plan the night before, but then that day you actually work it. You don't just build it and then, ah, no, no, no. You own the day. Don't let the day own you. You own the day. Number three, know your numbers. Now, this doesn't your quota. This is the key metrics that you need to hit every day to achieve success in your job. An example might be the number of calls you need to make, number of emails you need to send, number of conversations you have to have, whatever it may be, but know your metrics. And you know that if you hit your metrics, you will be successful. Number four, practice the 10 a.m. rule. What's the 10 a.m. rule? Well, that's where you take your smartphone and you set the alarm for 10 a.m. Now, why 10 a.m.? Because here's the deal. If I can accomplish something significant by 10 a.m., I will have made it a great day because if I wait and I'm going to do that something significant, make that big call, work on that important proposal in the afternoon. Well, what happens if something comes up in the afternoon? You don't get to it. You wind up pushing it off to the next day. Get it done and get it done before 10 a.m. This way, even if the day goes to pot, you will have had a good day. Number five, block your time and honor your calendar. Okay. Block your time. You block time on your calendar for the prospecting calls, the meetings you're going to have. But you block time with yourself, which is actually number six. Schedule meetings with yourself. That's the white space in your calendar. But it's very important that you schedule meetings with yourself so that you have time during the day to update your CRM system. So you have time during the day to, to respond to emails. So you have time during the day. But you schedule meetings with yourself. Number seven, Reward yourself. Hey, take credit when you accomplish a a significant task or activity by turning off work and pursuing and focusing on something else. I do this all the time. If if, if I've accomplished something significant, I get a project done, get something done. Hey, I'm going to take 10 minutes and I'm just going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to go check ESPN.com or I'm going to go do something I want to do to reward myself. What does it do? It helps me feel A, a sense of accomplishment. B, it gets me back in the groove when it's time to work again. Number eight, celebrate the activities and assess your actions at the end of each day. This goes along with number one, where you plan tomorrow. Because before you plan tomorrow, I want you to, to stop and celebrate the activities. Celebrate your day. I want you to congratulate yourself on the most significant thing you did all day. It may, you may have had a terrible day, but maybe you had one phone call go good. Congratulate yourself and assess your actions. Then you say, okay, what is it I need to do differently? What is it that I need to change? What is it? And what does this do? This is going to help you do that number one, which was, you know, plan your day, you know, plan tomorrow, today. Number nine, stay focused on your objectives. Before each action you do, ask yourself, Is it going to move me closer to achieving my goals? The key is not to be busy. The key is to be productive. This is, this is so critical. It's easy for us to be busy. I can be busy doing a lot of nothing. Very easy. But am I productive? In other words, I'm productive when I'm moving myself closer to achieving my goals. Number 10, be obsessed with your routine. That's right. Be obsessed with the boredom. The most successful Highly productive salespeople I know, they're extremely routine-oriented. They're incredibly routine-oriented. And they do it with vigor every day. And their success is because they do it every day. It's like going to the gym. You can't go to the gym and and think to get physically fit by only going one day every couple of weeks. you got to go regularly, whatever that schedule is, whatever that workout routine is. Okay, what I've done is I've shared with you 10 things I know you can be doing right now that will help you take ownership of the day. And when you do that, it's amazing how your productivity, your sales results will reflect 
the success you have of you controlling your day. Hey, I'm Mark Hunter, The Sales Hunter. Check out all the content. Hey, would you check out my podcast, The Sales Hunter Podcast? And the other podcast to do, Sales Lodging, both great podcasts. And you can, hey, carry them with you wherever you are, because that's the beauty about podcasts. My name is Mark Hunter, The Sales Hunter. Great selling.